and welcome back to Hawk Talk. My name is Ellie Hanser. And I'm Seth Morkerke. I wasn't supposed to be on, but <laughs> Coulter isn't here yet. Yeah. He has shoulder surgery, so I said I'd step in. Yep, and we have a very special guest this week. Can you go and introduce yourself, where uh, you're from, and what you do at DSU? Uh, my name is Pete Stanton. I'm the athletic director and football coach at Dickinson State. I'm originally from uh, from Baker, Montana. I was a student here at Dickinson State, graduated from here, and I've uh, oh. been here the last 20 years. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, I mean, unfortunately, we didn't get to get you on as much as we wanted last semester, but, I mean, we, we had a couple football guys on, quite a, quite a few, actually. Mm -hmm. um, got to have Derek and Kevin both on right before that. Uh, the Morningside game, and so haven't had anybody on since. So you want to recap the football season for us a little bit and, yeah. and how it turned out? Yeah, it out. was a good year. I was really happy with our guys. You know, we won our, won our fifth straight conference championship. That That's the first time that's been done in school history where there's yeah. been five in a row. So yeah. we're really excited about that. You know, we did start well with that first game. You know, when we played Rocky, we really, it was a disappointing game because we really did play about as poorly as we played in the last four or five years. And But we rebounded the next couple of weeks, beat Jamestown Hanley, beat a, a nationally ranked lacrosse team and yep. then we won a couple of close games after that mm -hmm. beat Waldorf at home uh, you know and then we had to come to, had a little lull in the middle where you know we Valley City we you know had a punt blocked and, and had a lead in the, and they, they, they beat us in that game and of course we had to really our backs were the wall against Waldorf the next week and, and a long trip and a tough yeah. game and and <laughs> we were able to hit, yeah. hit a big field goal to beat them and and uh, you know the next week then we really needed Waldorf to beat Valley uh, which they did, and then we, we beat Mayville, so we, we got that conference championship. Yep. And then, uh, you know, when we went into the playoffs, we knew we were going to play an obviously very good team, and then we figured it may be Morningside or College mm -hmm. Idaho, and it ended up being Morningside, who was, you know, defending national champion, and they, they won it again. You know, I thought it really yeah. got, our guys really competed well. You know, that yeah. first drive, we didn't get a score, and we drove it down there. And, you know, in the middle of the third quarter, it's 30 to 14, and we have the ball, and we have some chances. But they showed their what they're about, and yeah. they, they pulled away from us. and. Uh, but yeah. once again, it was it was a really good year. It was a fun year. There were a great bunch of guys to coach. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And a lot of great leaders on that team too. Yes, most definitely. Our senior mm -hmm. class, you know, we're, we're sure miss those guys. You know, having 14 of those guys that we had to say goodbye to, and mm -hmm. not only what they did on the field. You know, they're the first class, the senior class, to to win five in a row. But I believe they only lost one home game in their wow. in their whole career at the BAC. They were 24 and one, and just. More importantly, just really good people and, yeah. and mm -hmm. citizens, and, and they'll go on to do great things. Yeah. And we got, I mean, there's a lot going on this spring with the football team. And then we yeah. got a, a new weight room, so I know the guys are, are excited. They've been in this week a little bit already. You got Kobe Wartman stepping in um, as a GA, I believe. Yes. He's, he's kind of running the, the new. Uh, spring new uh, training programs, I guess, yeah. for all the athletes. Yeah, it's athletes. been great, and we're really appreciative of the people that donated to the to the weight room in our community to make it happen. And yeah. I, I know all of our athletes were were excited about that that move. And yeah. and you know, all of the teams came back, and we started mm -hmm. classes this week. And you know, you don't. It's kind of different because you don't see your athletes for about yeah. thirty days. So <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like you, you start over, and you're excited to see them yeah. and uh, get uh, work that Christmas break off a little bit. But <laughs> we got started with our with our, what we call our winter conditioning, and really. What we call our first phase of our of our football season and yep. uh, these next eight weeks and we'll be coming in early in the mornings and getting a lot of workouts before classes even start and and Colby we're really excited about him coming in you know he's a former player he's yep. an alum from here mm -hmm. uh, he's he's a guy that worked with our red shirts in the fall and we started him off there and then he mm -hmm. also worked with a couple other sports he worked with women's basketball and women's softball and yep. just a lot of positive yep. things going going there and our guys are really excited to uh, to get going and and do uh, you know his workout plan and whatever that's really where good teams are made is those yep. next eight weeks. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and you know, you have, you graduated, you said 14, you said goodbye to 14 seniors. Who are you kind of expecting? Who do you see filling in some of those seniors? Well, roles? yeah, and you know, depending upon the position, of course, if you know, if mm -hmm. you start at quarterback, you know, you have a guy that's, that's played the, the last four years yeah. and, and <laughs> broke, you know, every record, uh, you know, that we have as yeah. a quarterback, both single game, single season, and, you know, with Hayden and, and so obviously that's uh, you know that that's a tough fill. We think there's a couple of guys that are you know ready to step yeah. up and, and compete for that. So, you know you know if you look at you know a couple of real key guys in the, on the offensive line and Ahmad at, at running back yeah. as well. And if you flip it over to the defensive line, you know the same thing. You know you mm -hmm. mentioned Kevin Brown earlier, a guy that yeah. uh, you know was the 
one of the leaders of our defense, a second team All American, two time All Conference, Derek Manavush, a yep. first team All American, mm -hmm. yep. you know, not only really good players, but great leaders. And if you look at our secondary, our defensive backs, we lose four starters. So, wow. you know, yep. with with uh, with not only with Derek, but also with, with Dylan Reiner and, and, and with Lewis Dovitz and Trenton Roar from Kildare. So, mm -hmm. uh, it's, you know, it's really going to be, uh, you know, in some areas, like a receiver and, yeah. and, and the offensive line and a running back. We have a lot of, a lot of guys back on defense. We're going to have a lot of unknowns. And yeah. I think we have some pretty good players that are younger. It's just going to be a matter now it's their, their turn. they got to yeah. step up. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But it's a good place to be in for them. So that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yep, and that's what it's about in this off season. Yeah, well, I mean, not only are you the football coach, you're the athletic director. Um, second year in this position, or just third this is started the yeah, third year now. Oh, wow. yeah, we're in your third year oh, wow. yeah, already. Yeah, time but, flies. <laughs> yeah, it really <laughs> does. Looking back, you know, on some of the fall sports, we had a couple other, you know, really impressive performances from some of the teams and individuals. You know, cross country, golf, even. I mean, and the volleyball finishing up. How did how did you feel about the be the fall semester and I mean, the beginning of some of the winter sports? Too? Yeah, I, I think it went really well. I mean, uh, obviously our ladies in the volleyball mm -hmm. team competed really, really well, and they've done that. And then we lose a great core of seniors uh, <laughs> off of the volleyball team, and it seems like. Uh, you guys have been here a long time. Yeah. It's going to be hard to, yeah. to say goodbye to the, to the senior yeah. volleyball players. And if you look at the other sports, golf, I thought we made some great strides mm -hmm. this year as far as where they placed in some of those meets. And we had more, uh, you know, on the roster. And I thought they made some made some really, really good strides. Yeah. And then in cross country, the same thing as with the football team. The women's cross country team, you know, goes in and they tie Dakota State, but yeah. also has their fifth consecutive uh, um, DAC, uh, excuse me, yeah. North Star yeah. Championship, yeah. and yeah. so it's five in a row for them, five years in a row that the, the women's cross country team yeah. goes to the nationals, a couple of our men go, so it was just, you know, it was just a solid fall all, all the way around for all of our teams. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it, it's exciting, I mean, looking yeah. ahead of the spring, we got some of those same teams, you know, cross country yeah. turns into track, golf stays with golf, but other things, softball, you know, and then baseball is getting some guys, right. who, I mean, they, they yeah. don't start right. the spring, but they're getting some guys recruited, and we've got Obviously, football in the spring. We've got men's and women's basketball. I mean, what's what are we looking forward to this spring? Yeah, well, I think that you know, right now with our, our you know, we have our basketball and, and wrestling teams uh, yep, going, wrestling. and the, and our, the wrestlers have gotten off to a to a great start. You know, mm -hmm. you look at Gresh, and you know, he's yeah. number one ranked wrestler in in the nation. So we're we're really excited, to, yeah. not only for him individually, but for us as a team. We had a really exciting duel with Northern Montana, yeah. who's who's very good, and Gresh wasn't able to wrestle in that, and we end up losing. You know, by by six or eight points, right. where you know that. Right. So you know, and we start a little bit later than some of the others. So I, I think they've gotten themselves off to a good start, and now they're they're going to have the Tyler Plummer uh, yep. wrestling right. tournament coming up on the twenty fifth, and which is always an awesome tournament. That's our that's our, that's our home tournament there. Our men's and women's basketball team are going. They've, they've been on the road a lot, yeah. you know, which has been tough. The schedule worked worked where they were mm -hmm. a lot of road games, yeah. and and you know, and right now I know that I know both programs feel their records aren't were quite where they want them to be right mm -hmm. now but you know we're, I think we're gearing towards conference play and yeah. and uh, you know I think one of the things that you look on the women's side and our women are just really competing hard yeah. and 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 getting after it and we know our men have the talent to go do it and just they have a lot of the pieces back from last year they just yeah. need to go you know put that together and then yeah. at the same time we'll be starting indoor track uh, you know they'll be coming to the first meets we have some all-americans back there so yeah. they'll mm -hmm. they'll be getting going and then as you said you go into you go into the spring with uh, you know with our, our women's softball team who's been a traditionally very strong program mm -hmm. every year we're, we're excited uh, you know they were they were picked fourth and I think they're gonna finish higher than that so we'll yeah. put the pressure on on the softball team yeah. but I think they you know they have a they have an outstanding chance of doing well in our conference this year yeah. And some new recruits, too, for that softball program. So that's going to be good to see. And I don't think we lost our pitcher. We still have the no, same crew. still, yeah, yep. still around and some really good good recruits. Yeah. And, of course, they'll kick it off by going, you know, down to town to Mesa. And yep. and uh, they'll, they'll play some games in March yeah. there. And they get a lot of games in there as well. And then, as you mentioned, really excited to have baseball back on the yeah. docket. Coach Dahl has done a really nice job, you know, our our. our yeah, not having a program and right now we have five or six guys that are actually enrolled in school either taking classes here or take them online yep. mm -hmm. and we've already signed 16 or 17 players yeah. for, oh, wow. for next year so yeah. the goal is 30 so we're a little over halfway there and I know Dickinson's a baseball town and I know everybody's going to be excited to have Blue Hawk baseball back uh, come next year. Yeah absolutely Great. and we're I mean we're still raising scholarship dollars for that which is mm -hmm. really cool to kind of get to see that grow um, as the players grow, we're growing a scholarship fund for them, so we're trying to get 40 new scholarships for this 
this baseball program so we can you know fund a, a really strong program yeah. from the start like you said yeah we're, we're just excited about that to get them to get them going and yeah. I think it's not only going to help obviously our athletic department but just to have that atmosphere and, the, and the, the, those all those guys back on campus right. I think it's a big plus for everyone on campus to have that baseball program back yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And also as the AD, um, we did add in a few JV teams in, you know, this year. What have you seen growth-wise in the athletic department? Well, we, yeah, it's going to be, uh, I think, a big thing for us here in the next couple of years. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, the, the three that we designated were, were volleyball and, and men's and women's basketball. Right. We just felt volleyball was, was closer this year to be able to, mm -hmm. to play a JV schedule with the numbers. And I, I thought for the first year it worked out well. We got to, you know, play some, some junior colleges and, and some other schools, yep. uh, junior yep. varsities, and it really just gave gave our, our, our incoming uh, players and our young players that opportunity to one to play and the other one is you hey to maybe prove themselves that yeah. maybe hey I'm gonna push push you know yep. into the varsity in yeah. the next couple of years and really that's the plan with men's and women's basketball as well so we, we just didn't feel their numbers were quite there yet yeah. so the transition for them will be next year sure. so both coach Vaughn and, and coach Nelson will be recruiting uh, the players for next year with the idea of having six to eight uh, games in the in the JV basketball and we think it's going to give a lot of area uh, athletes and wherever whoever would be the opportunity to compete at the college level yeah. and so we're excited about yeah. that as well and grow as players too I know that freshman year especially is a good year for growth and you know getting some muscle on those on those arms you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. well thank you so much for coming on today it was kind of a quicker interview but just, I mean, it was first week of school, yeah. and, you know, just yeah. trying to organize some things. No, so. thanks for yeah. thanks for having me, and good luck. I know you're going to do great, and yeah. what you do there, and transitioning on yeah. this, it's going to be a going to be a lot of fun, and we appreciate all you guys do for Blue Rock Athletics. Oh, of course, can't quite get rid of Seth yet, but <laughs> um, we'll be right back after this break. Hey guys, it's Tyler with Immovable Ministries here, and I'm so excited to be able to be the sponsor for this year's Hawk Talk. If you'd like to find out more about Immovable Ministries, you can visit our website at immovableministries.com. And welcome back. Seth and I are going to do a quick recap of a little bit over Christmas break, but uh, we had, I mean, I was surprised we had some stuff going on over Christmas break. Yeah, that everybody got a break, but not nah. not everyone did. Not what a was DSU. The women's, basketball team um, women's basketball traveled to Seattle. I believe it was right yeah. after Christmas, yeah. and they competed well. They played, I think, Northwestern, Vancouver, a few. Yeah, yeah just and some teams out there. Yeah, just some teams out there. You know, over in I Seattle. I saw on their Instagram they were out. You know, checking out. It. A couple places in yeah. Seattle, so I was kind of jealous of Yeah, I was too. Also cool that they got to play basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I guess basketball too, along yeah, with along Seattle. With um, and they went one and two there, one which two. was okay. which is good. I mean, they're getting a win at a bigger tournament. Right, and like Coach Stanton was saying, you know, this team is so they they fight every game. Mm -hmm. and they're they're working hard every single game. And it's it's really cool to see you know that they can go out to Seattle and play in a big tournament and mm -hmm. you know come away with the win, but then also play in some hard fought games and. and Play yeah. two really well team, really yeah. good teams as well. And so the girls had two home games this previous weekend, right. and they went one and one at home, okay. which is very exciting to see. Yep. Um, they beat Bellevue yeah. on Friday night. It was a close game. Close yeah. game. So was, yep. But came right down to the wire, literally right down the yeah. wire. So it was, it was, yeah, you were there. I was It's good to see those, you know, those games where, you know, they just finish. You know, like mm -hmm. you're so close all game, and then you just finish. You see them finish. So that was exciting. Yeah. One player that I would love to highlight is Ashley Larson. Yeah. She is in the 1,000 Point Club, yes, which is amazing. Congratulations to her. Yeah. I'm sure we'll have her on later this year. Hopefully but if she ever I mean, it's very. A call, right? Yeah, exactly. Sometimes. <laughs> very well deserved. Yeah. Um, you know, hard worker, great leader on the and court. And this is only her second year here. Yeah, second so year I mean, here. It's, it's awesome to see. We had a, a, a guy on the men's basketball team a couple of years ago kind of do the same thing, mm -hmm. take, take two years to do it. And it's like a 1,000 points is a lot to do in four yeah. years, but to do it in two is just, yeah. and still, you know, with a lot of the season left. So yeah. congratulations, Ashley. That's, that's really yeah. incredible. Yeah, really incredible. And so that game against Bellevue, we saw her, 
step up with 14 points and then Ashley Watts as well she was they both had 14 points that game which is great to see um the loss to see. Dakota State the yeah. same but um you know Dakota State honestly they I was watching the game and the, all the girls on their team looked like they were six foot I mean two yeah ladies, so I'm like this is, a, this is a tall team so it was a tough battle but it's good for our girls to go in there, and uh, again, they always fight, so right. it's always fun to watch. Yep, and then in that game, too, Daniela Wallace, one of the posts, had she put up seven points, which so. is really good to see, you know, some more of those younger posts stepping up, because she's right. just a sophomore, yep. so. so you, I mean, yeah. you, you know a little bit about basketball. Yeah, you know yeah. Those posts to yeah, so it's like good. That. It's good to see some posts. Yeah, you and know, then men's basketball similar. They didn't yep. get to go to Seattle, unfortunately. But no, they, did they play over? They played over Christmas break, right? They played Rocky. Yep, they played they Rocky. Over, and then another game. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the the record, like Hossein was saying, the record doesn't show how talented and mm -hmm. how good this team actually right. is. But I'm I'm believing that this conference schedule coming up, they're really just going to kind of make a roll through it, and then yeah. come conference tournament, they're going to win the whole thing, which yeah. is really incredible. They played this past weekend, played Bellevue and Dakota State, like you talked about, lost both of them. Mm -hmm. um, Bellevue, gosh, they they are a tough yeah. team to play. Always yeah. fun to watch them. Mm -hmm. Back and forth game the whole time, and unfortunately, Blue Hawks didn't come away. Yeah. Dakota State, I'm thinking maybe, maybe the Blue Hawks kind of gave it all they had on Friday right. night, playing that a little tougher team that they kind of they slipped up a little bit on on Saturday. Right. But I mean, there's we still got five six games left in yeah. the season, so we're we're, we're and solid. it's always such a hard turnaround, you know, like after especially they lost right. by you, three. You know to, exactly how yeah. it was volleyball, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you give it all on Friday night, and then mm -hmm. you got to turn around on Saturday. Yeah, and it is a, it's a quick one, so yeah. especially when you're still kind of. Rats. So rats. Rats. Right. Yeah. A couple guys that played well over the weekend. Kenny Jackson. Yeah. Right. Um, who else do we have? Um, Kenny Jackson. <laughs> That's what I just Malcolm said. Hill. Malcolm Hill. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those guys. I mean, and those guys are who are, are the ones who are consistent. Yeah. Over the, over the, I mean, every every game, and so it's exciting. Yeah, and I know yeah. Malcolm had ten rebounds in one game, which is insane. He's one of the. Also had yeah. a couple dunks too. Yeah. In the game. Yeah. Which was, I mean, that got the crowd going. It got me going. Yeah. That, which is cool. Can you dunk? I can dunk. I can dunk too. Not as good as those guys, but you can dunk. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. Maybe we should film it sometime. Should, yeah. <laughs> That'll be our the next thing. next time I'm on. Yeah, I'm for yeah, you. exactly. I'd and wrestling, right? Oh yeah, yeah wrestling. I'm myself. I don't want to talk about myself. <laughs> wrestling. Um, they, I mean, goodness, they they basically start their season at the beginning of December yep. towards the end of December, and so they uh, Gresh Jones, number one in yep. the nation, one thirty three. Yeah, really That's exciting. Awesome. We're excited to see where yep. that goes. And Senior year, going to be awesome. Yeah, it's his time. He's right it's there. He's been working. You know, he's just one of the hardest workers yeah. on that team and just such a great leader, everything. He's and just, the team is also ranked or they're yeah, receiving Yeah, they're ranked? receiving votes, so they're at 31. Um, oh, okay. When I was looking on the on the rankings, they were like the team just that was on it. Yeah, okay. was so receiving, receiving 36, I mean, so they're, they're right there. They keep, they're getting like it. Like Coach was saying, they keep performing well at each yeah, and they, they did. They wrestled at Northern, and they didn't have Gresh again, and they lost, but it was still a really close yeah. and match. Where, where are they at this weekend? Um, they're at Missouri. They're in Missouri, Missouri, okay. Missouri State College. And the College. Tyler Plummer is coming up. The Tyler Plummer Classic is coming up next weekend. I'm yes. Planning. So that's exciting. Hopefully we can get a wrestler yep. on before then. You know, yeah. next, next week, hopefully we can get a wrestler on. Yeah. yeah. And for the Heritage Foundation, what do we have coming up in February? In if you February, wanna... February 29th, we have the uh, yep. bike -a This is our third year doing it. Yeah, our third year doing the bike -a We're asking every club organization, athletic team, department, whatever whatever it is that's uh, going to raise money. We were asking them to raise $500 um, in order to, to bike and basically bike for 20 minutes. And we're going to see how much money we can oh, raise yeah. for groups on campus at DSU. We're, we're really excited. If you yeah. have any questions um, and you, I mean, you want to get involved, you want to donate, you want to ride, we're looking for riders all the time. You can contact me um, at the Heritage Foundation. That's 701-483-2486. Nice memory. Yeah, that was I good. Say it every day. That was really good. Yeah. Just to, every morning you say that. <laughs> wake up. And say <laughs> you you wake up saying it. Yeah. 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 I could Start too. Start your day with a good thought. <laughs> the Heritage Foundation number. Um, once again, we wanted to thank our um, sponsors for making this possible. Immovable yep. Ministries. Yep. Um, thank you for everything you do. We couldn't. We wouldn't be here without you. So wouldn't we wouldn't be here in these seats. In these seats it's right that. here. Yeah. But um, we're looking forward to a great spring semester. Oh, Looking I mean, forward to you becoming the host. Oh, hey, thanks. Yeah. I mean, we just can't get Seth to leave. Like, <laughs> we just you asked me to come. It's on. the camera hey, face, yes, you know. He just that. it's attracted to the camera. Try, but try. thank you again for coming on and helping Sorry. us out. And Coulter will be back next week. But you want to say it with me here? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Hawks, Hawks are up. up. <laughs>